As I promised my colleagues on the board, I would like to take the opportunity this morning to address the recent media attention received as a result of a reposting on my personal Facebook page. I sincerely apologize for and truly regret my hasty action of reposting an item that appeared on my personal Facebook page. I wish to make it absolutely clear that it was never my desire or intention to offend anyone at any time. I fully realize the sensitivity of the issue at hand and I was wrong to repost something that could ever be perceived as insensitive by anyone. I fully understand that as an elected official of this state, that I may say and do, and what I may say and do, may find its way to the public domain and therefore must be measured and tempered. I sincerely apologize for my transgression to everyone who may have been offended by this incident. I have apologized personally to my colleagues on the board for any discord that this may have caused, to ODE leadership, and to all of the ODE staff for having to spend any time or resources dealing with this most unfortunate issue. In a civil society, an honest, open, free exchange of ideas is necessary to allow us to engage in a reasoned debate on any of those ideas. I firmly believe that to vilify, ridicule, and attempt to demonize and marginalize people who do not agree with you is counterproductive to reaching a consensus. My mission on this board is, as I have demonstrated in the past, to lead us to a healthy consensus that is in the best interest of Ohio's children. Again, I sincerely apologize. To reiterate, it was never my desire, nor was it ever my intention to offend anyone. But it truly was a mistake. I do ask for forgiveness for that mistake and give my complete assurance that this will never occur again. It is my hope that we can put this issue behind us and continue our important work together for Ohio's children. It is my firm belief that this error in judgment must not delay any of the valuable work of this board in ensuring the delivery of the best educational opportunities for Ohio's 1.9 million children. I thank you for the opportunity this morning to be able to address the board. Thank you, Vice President Gunlock. Mr. Chair. Thank you, Mr. Chairman. 